Haló. Ha, ó, nem állítottam át a bitrátát, az meg. Tudtam, hogy valamit akarok. Na mindegy. Várunk. Addig valami muzik, mu muzika. De nem ott kéne a Spotify. Na, a gép nincs is letölt a Spotify. De ez van. Akkor más. De Youtube-on meg bejönnek a hirdetések. Nem baj, most ezt a 10 percig jó lesz úgy. Csak halkra kell állítani. Ilyeneket ne csináljak, mert jó hangos ez a zenemettel. Beszédemhez képest. Itt van a cash neve. Hello. Izgulunk, izgulunk. Kíve, attól félek amúgy, hogy ez, ez, ez egy nagy semmi lesz amúgy. Amúgy. Kicsit kíváncsi vagyok. Olvastattam a váróteremben. És, és én már észrevettem valamit. Ez... Jaj, Dark Mode, hagyjál már, hát nem mindegy. Na, ah, jobb így. <gül> És sem is mondják el, hogy mi lesz. Ö, és amúgy az érdekes, hogy én kiszúrtam, hogy nem azt írja, hogy az élő adás mikor kezdődik, hanem a premiér, szóval ez már egy előre felvett videó lesz. Nem, nem, nem. Az, az abban biztos vagyok. Mert nem az van, hogy élő adás indul. Nyolc perc. Hát... Ö, én örülnék azért, ha bejelentenének valamit. Egy új crash Egy Horizon 2 -t. Hello to Limited. Hát majd este a Late Night Talk majd menni fog a korona, nyugi. De jó lesz. Ö, nem, olyan, nem olyan lesz, El, hanem ilyen összegyűjtöttem egy csomó érdekességet, hogy a világ hogy reagál, vicces sztorik, abszurd dolgok, csomó mindent kigyűjtöttem. Szóval ilyen hírszemle. De amúgy az olyan durva, hogy a Orbános videó, hogy kiakasztotta a Facebookot. Én nem tudtam, miről beszél mindenki, mert már nem bírtam megnyitni. És 20 fél óra alatt majdnem 1 millióan nézték meg. Azt a kurva. Na az az 1 milliós nézettség fél óra alatt. Ez szerintem rekord Magyarországon. Többen nézték élőben az Orbán beszédét most, mint a Sushi izéjét a Alex Zoltánnak. Szia Szoti, szia Patrik, sziasztok! Szóval én azt hittem, hogy egy élő show fog itt vár ránk, várni ránk, de hát ahogy látjuk, ez egy felvett videó. Mert premier, nem élő show. Ja, a vágomos hang nélkül ment meg ilyenek. 6 perc múlva kezdődik. Soha nem is írtam rá. Szóval nem tudom, ki mit vár, valamit mondjatok. Mit fog tudni? Visszafelé kompatibilitásnak kell lennie benne mindenféleképpen. Azra is, hogy kíváncsiak, hogy mennyire. De hát, hogy már azt is tudjuk. Most elmondják, hogy 6 terra flop, ezt mit csinálok vele? Mutassanak valamit, de szerintem nem fog meg semmit mutatni. Semmi játékot. Megmutatják az új viát, ami annak hozzá, ami tud, vezeték nélküli lesz. Mint a, az a HPC, vagy minek van. Ö, igazából ennyi. A kontroller az szerintem nagyon hasonló hirdetés. Jaj, de arra is. Ö, szerintem a Kontroller az, az nem fog nagy beltérni, de hogyha jól visszaemlékszem a 
a PS4 bemutatóra, ott azt még a kontrollert sem mutatták meg, hanem ott volt az a vörös csávó, ott át egy ilyen üzébe, így néz ki a PS4, így néz ki a mit tudom én link, és annyi volt, hogy az a PS pro volt. Az a PS Pro volt, vagy már ne, nem is emlékszem. Nem-e a PS4 az E3 volt? Szóval... 80 vagyunk, majd beindul ez, mindjárt elkezdődik valamiért, 5 percig. Hogy vagytok? Ugye nem mozdultok sehova? Mesélje mindenki. Hogyan védekezik? Ez a kurva chat, ez annyira idegesítő, beírok valamit. Kutyafasz. Holnap érkezik a kakarott, amúgy meg karanténra. Az még nem jelent meg a kakarott? Hát már csomó mindenki gameplay ezett vele. Én is lássam, de magamra néztem Knack 3 <gül> Mint a... Én most rendeltem, meg te Maki Ja A polki maszkot varrat a dolgozóknak Tényleg a könyvet, könyveket is le kell feltőtleníteni, nem? Szóval nem kell megijedni a 8 órai late night talk ami lehet, hogy késik, mert ezt gondolkodtam, hogy így tartok late night talk mint ahogy most. És én mindig úgy vagyok vele, hogy így kéne, így lenne a legegyszerűbb az életemnek. De most van idő. El, elviszek mindent, a, ahol múltkor csináltam. Mert hogy ott van asztal. De mivel kell lenni fog a két monitor, az egyik, amit a stream megy, a másik, hol meg a... a videók, meg képek mert uh, koronavírus lesz a téma és a, átmegyünk a kötelezőkön de utána uh, uh, ja és az asztal de hát az úgy nem fér el uh, és utána összegyűjtöttem rengeteg ilyen Munkás vagy érdekes, vagy ilyen abszurd dolgot, ami a koronavírus ilyen, inkább ilyen fun fact, vagy vicces, vagy valami. Meg egy kisebb bejelentés lesz. És lesz szavazás. Szavazzuk, csináld itt. Na, amúgy itt annyira egyszerű lenne, csak ugyanígy kéne mindent csinálni. Csak nem látszana a Leonardo DiCaprio. Meg elme... Le le lehet, hogy nem lenne az a late night talk hangulat, nem? Hogyha nem látszódna az asztal, meg ezek, attól tartok. Mondjuk ide pont fel tudna. Á, nem. Sokkal nagyobb. Á, nem tudom. Hello Grex, hello Kovi. Jó van, megérkezzünk. Gondolj, éreztem, hogy negyed órával előbb kell. Már csak két perc. Meg plusz egy. Ez három. Spider-Man 2. Hát szerintem nem lesz semmi játék bejelentve. Csak a gépet mutatják. Meg egy ilyen 15 percbe. Valamiért ez, ezt gondolom, elmondják, 6 teraflop, nagyon jó, ja megy a reklám, fel se tűnt. Még mind spotify -on. ja ezt kell vagy mondom. PS5 koronavírus verzió, hát amúgy volt pletykával, hogy csúszni fog a megjelenés a koronavírus miatt. Meg ezek miatt. 6 terra flöppen, bőven több lesz. Hát... Nem tudom. De most az, az a lényeg, hogy lássunk valamit, hogy, hogy, hogy mi lesz. Mert most hiába mondják, mert a, mi volt a Xbox XX Series Oxo Z de is van 8 milliárd terraflop, az mire jó? Semmire. Miért megy ez a csodás muzika, a reklám, vagy te hallgatod? Hát jó, iróniával lehet kérdezted. Uh, Youtube-on benyomtam egy zenét, amit hallgattam, és adja be tovább azokat, amit szoktam. Szóval, ezt is szoktam. Köszönöm. Ez a legjobb rész. 
Ennyi. De most élőben nem jobb semmi, ezt tisztázzuk le. A premier hamarosan kezdődik. Nagy csalódás volt. Miért volt csalódás neked? Fűben élek én. De hát most azt mondtad, hogy csodás vagy. Így irónikus volt? Nem a játék. Mert x-faktoros. Hát akkor... Szóval azért, mert x-faktoros, azért nem szereted? Hogy írtad be a keresőbe a Playstation-t? Miért? Elírtam valahol van mi? Hát csak beírtam a Playstation. Hát akkor, akkor a Puzs gondolom Grex a Puzsért se szereted, mert meg csillag születikes volt. Nem, nem, nem műsor alapján itt él, ja? Hát persze, de hát ez mindig ez, ez a show business. De most azért nem kell a személyére haragudni, vagy valami. Én leszarom, hogyha vár ki a... Szia, Deadly Pants! Szóval azt mondtam, hogy... Felülem, az m is énekelhet valaki, ha bejön nekem. Az, az, amit csinál, vagy a személyen, nem ezek alapján ítélkezem. Vagy hogy érted, hogy kamu volt? Mit adtak el vele? Hát csak a műsor. Akkor ez tényleg premier. Most már kiteltem full screen, de mi? Ezt vágjátok, hogy csak így full hd ba akadás nélkül megy egy stream? Érted? Engem nem zavar. Annyira kényelmesen, mint nézni most. Nagyon halk vagyok. Hát akkor tessék. Hulk smash! Akkor meg... Nézzétek, cselezzek egy ilyet. Így már... Ja, egy kis hang mehet. Még? Adok én még rá. Hol van? Ki fogja szakítani a világot. Most már jobb. Vagy hát így fogok beszélni, ez az alaphang. Na, nézzük! Hi, I'm John Carvey back, I can walk home. Azok a műemberek. Most meg ő a halk. Vagy azok igazi emberek? Na, ez a csávóra gondolta. Na, nézzük. Hmm, PS1. Az itt marad örökké. Még mindig halk? There's a lot of learning by the game developers, hopefully not too overwhelming. And soon there's games that could never have been created. The full shade. Now, it used to be that as a console designer, you'd somehow intuit what would be the best set of capabilities for the new console. As green screen, I don't want to fail. I need a lot. For the PlayStation console, that period lasted through PlayStation 3, a powerful and groundbreaking console, but not only that, but just too loud to start up with the sound. Ugyanúgy PS5-öt is túlárazzák, biztos ölben. We definitely do have some ideas of our own, but at the core of our philosophy for designing consoles is that game players are here for the fantastic games. Which is to say that game creators matter. Anything we can do to make life easier for the game creators or help them realize their dreams. So 
About once every two years, I take a tour of the industry. I go to the various. Ez volt a jó PS négy, de tényleg meg kicsit. And discuss how they're doing with the current consoles and what they'd like to see. Ha rommal, és jobban hallgattak a az emberekre, meg a fejlesztőkre, és azért lett ilyen sikeres a PS négy. De most meg már már látjuk itt a éra végén, hogy egy kicsit fejükbe szállt, fejükbe szállt. A siker, és egy kicsit megint kezdtek el indulni egy nagyon rossz irányba. Szóval most itt... Most már SSD-t Szóval nem kapnak figyelembe időbe, akkor az Xbox a Game Pass-szal meg fogja őket passzolni. Mikor kezdődött? Egy három perce. Now, with PlayStation One, Two, and Three, the target was a revolution each time with a brand new feature set. Ezek valódi emberek, vagy valami ilyen karton papírok, vagy ez nem tudom eldönteni. This time to try it. Here's what I had for those three consoles. To be clear, I'm not talking about time to make a game. Developers will be ambitious, and it may take them six years or so to realize their vision. What I'm talking about is that dead time before graphics and other aspects of the development are upgraded, and trying to minimize that. On the other hand, if we're trying to reduce that dead time to zero, that means the hardware architecture can't change at all. We're handcuffed. We need to judge for each feature what value it adds, and whether it's worth the increase in developer time needed to support it. So with PlayStation 4, we were able to strike a pretty good balance between performance and familiarity. We got required learning back to PlayStation 1 levels. With PS5, the GPU was definitely the area we felt the most tension between adding new features and keeping a familiar programming model. Ultimately, I think we've ended up with something under a month of getting up to speed. That feels like we're striking about the right balance. I'll go into a bit more detail later today about our philosophy with the GPU and the specific feature set that resulted from it. Jó, hát It's jó lesz FPS meg tartja az FPS meg a felbontást. Ezt akarták elmondani nagyon gyorsan. De itt a második csáv, ott mozgott, megmozdult az egyik. Ezek közelülnek egymáshoz. That's why the SSD was very much on our list of directions to explore, regardless of what came out of the conversations with game developers and publishers. The biggest feature in this category is the custom engine for audio. That's today's final topic. The push for vastly improved audio. As mondta, hogy ez már az utolsó téma a hang. Isn't something that came out of the developer meetings. It's much more the case that they had a dream of what might be possible five years from now. And then worked out a number of steps we could take. To Igen, ezt amúgy mondták, hogy a hangban valami újat so itt kitaláltak. The, three principles, the first being enabling the desires mm -hmm. of developers to drive the hardware design. To me, the SSD really is the <laughs> it's a game changer. And it was the number one ask from developers for PlayStation 5. As in, we know it's probably impossible, but can you put? Ne vágyjátok a csávót, elmondja. That was the discussion we were also having. Ez az SSD lesz benne. It was clear that the presence of the hard drive in every PlayStation 4 was having a positive impact. Csak még azt nem mondja. A lot of things that would simply have been impossible at Blu-ray disc speeds were now possible. At the same time, though, in 2015 and 2016, when we were having these conversations, developers were already banging up against the limits of the hard drive. And a lot of developers. Megbengették a limitákat. Nem mondod. Azért a Final Fantasy hét az még is ki tud nézni úgy ahogy, hogy nem értem. Which is how long it takes to load a gigabyte of data from a hard drive. The difficulty being that hard drives are neither particularly fast nor flexible. If all your data is in one block, which is frankly not very likely, you can load 50 to 100 megabytes a second, depending on where the data is located on the hard drive. Let's assume it's on the outer edge, which means loading a gigabyte takes 10 seconds. If you compress your game packages, you can fit more data on the Blu-ray disc and also effectively boost mm -hmm. your hard drive read speed by the compression ratio. We support Zlib decompression on PlayStation 4 that gets you something like 50% more data on the disc and 50% Próbáljátok meg ne a lemez olvasás felgyorsítani, hanem azt, hogy a menüben ne kelljen 5 másodpercet vártanom, ha megnyomom a hop gombot. Én annak jobban örülnék. Nem, ez is jó lesz. Gyorsabban olvassa a lemezről az adatot. Több dolog jelenhet meg. 
My rule of and thumb is that the hard drive is spending two thirds of its time seeking and only a third of its time actually loading data. Putting all of that together, a gigabyte is very rough in 20 lost. seconds to load from a hard drive. Now, a gigabyte is not much data. Oh, Games yeah. are using five or six gigabytes of RAM on PlayStation 4, so boot Oops. times and load times can get pretty grim. Or to put that differently, as a player, you wait for the game to boot, wait for the game to load, wait for the level to reload every no, time you, die, you and wait for what is euphemistically called fast travel. And all of that leads to the dream. What if we could have not just an SSD, but a Bonyad, no, ennek mondjuk nagyon örülök, és ezt utáltam mindig, mikor meghalsz egy játékban, mondjuk tizedjére egy pályán, és vársz egy fél órát, mire continue betölt, és akkor meghalsz, meg tovább, fast travel, ó, oh, basszus, megint fast travel, egy percig nézem a töltőképernyőt. De hogyha már rányomok, hogy fast travel, és egyből ott van, na ez fejlődés lenne, de ezt a múltkor is mondtam. Hogy, hogy ez viszont nagyon jó lenne. Tetszik amúgy a PS5-nél itt a zárójában a target, hogy az a cél. Meglátjuk, mi lesz belőle. Which means at 5 gigabyte a second for the SSD, the potential is that the game boots in a second. There are no load screens, the game just fades down while loading a half dozen gigabytes and fades back up again. Na, ugye ez már pókembernél is megmutatták, hogy egyből megy. Na, ez nagyon jó. És ezt mondta a múltkor is, hogy ennek kell fejlődnie, hogy érezzük azt, hogy előre lépünk a konzol generációval. Like those Spider-Man subway rides, to being so blindingly fast that we might even have to slow down. Pretty cool, right? But for me, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Now, this is not the primary reason to change from a hard drive to an SSD. Which is that frequently used data is included in many chunks and therefore is on the hard drive. Actually, as much as I like to connect, so most Marvel Spider-Man is a strategy, and though it works very well for increasing the streaming speed, there's a massive duplication as a result. Some of the objects, like mailboxes or hello spectrum, hard drive four hundred times. What I'm describing here are things that cramp a creative director's style. Either level design gets a little bit boring in places, or the data is duplicated so many times that it no longer fits on the Blu-ray disc. And you end up with hard limits on the player's run speed or driving speed. The player can't go faster than the load speed from the hard drive. And finally, I'm sure no. many of you have noticed that after a patch download, the player
Even so, you can occasionally see this happening on game titles. They start to hitch once they get patched enough. With an SSD, though, no seeks. So no need to make brand new files with the changes incorporated into them, which means no installs as you know them today. That's because you just jack out the SSD to install the other one. Just that system no. memory can be used. No, much more so Chrome again. On PlayStation 4, game data on the hard drive feels very distant and difficult to use. By the time you realize you need a piece of data, it's much too late package. to go out and load it. So system memory has to contain so all the data that can be used in the next 30 seconds or so to be played. Me. That means a lot of the 8 gigabytes of system memory is idle. It's just waiting there to be potentially used. On PlayStation 5, though, the SSD is very close to being like more RAM. Typically, it's fast enough that when you realize you need a piece of data, you can just load it from the SSD and use it. There's no need to have lots of data parked in system memory waiting to potentially be used. A different way of saying that is that most of RAM is working on the game. Well, hot this is this one is of the reasons that 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 That's feels that. right for PlayStation 5. The presence of the SSD reduces the need for a massive intergenerational increase in size. So back to the dream of the SSD. Here's the setup. Ooh, get okay. Boot the game in a second. No load screens. Again. Design freedom, meaning no twisty passages or long no, frame wars. More game on the As disc, more game on the SSD, and finally, enjoyable. those patch installs go away. The reality, though, is that the SSD is just one piece of the puzzle. There's a lot of places to bother with it in the curve between the SSD and the game code that uses the data. You can see this on PlayStation 4. If I use an SSD with 10 times the speed of a standard hard drive, I probably see only double the loading speed, if that. Hát ez a kijenek, mert ugye most az azt mondja, a GDC, vagy mi elmaradt, a Developer Games Conversion, és ezt azért mutatják be, ugye ott a fejlesztőknek van a expója, szóval ezt úgy kell nézni, ez most... Fejl ez leginkább a fejlesztőknek szól, és az ottani PlayStation-es előadás nem marad el, hanem megtartják digitálisan. Fizetek érte, ha megmutatja. Ö, itt le le a leírásban lehet donétálni, és akkor majd intézkedem. At the SSD speeds we're talking about, that last part, moving the data, meaning copying it from one location to another, takes roughly an entire next-gen CPU core. And that's just Not the tip of the iceberg. The if all the overheads get 100 times larger, that will cripple the frame rate as soon as the player moves, and that massive stream of data starts coming off the SSD. So to solve all of that, we built a lot of custom hardware, namely a custom flash controller and a number of custom units in our main chip. The flash controller in the SSD was designed for smooth and bottleneck. As a bottleneck, the chavo is also a chuck mozzle. Me, a többi ek még lehetnek karton papírból kivágva. Priority is very important. You can imagine the player heading into some new location in the world and the game requesting a a few gigabytes of textures. And while those textures are being loaded, an enemy is shot and has to speak a few dying words. Having multiple priority levels lets the audio for those dying words get loaded. Nem vettem volna észre eddig, hogyha valakit lelövök, és a halálos szavaja később töltöttek volna be, de... Tudod, túlimited, menj el, behugyoz, és pont akkor fogják megmutatni, tudod. Úristen, ilyen vajó laptopok vannak még? Ez egy tíz éve milyen menő cuccok voltak. It's tempting to add more, but Flash certainly doesn't have a budget, and we have a responsibility to our gaming audience to be cost-effective with regards to what we put in the console. Ultimately, we resolve this question by looking at the play patterns of a broad range of gamers. We examined the specific games that they were playing with the first. Many are new at them, but they are not even on the audio roll. They should be playing properly on the SSD. Ja, hát tudom, we were able hogy to establish that the friction caused is. by reinstalls or redownloads would be quite low, and so we locked in on that 825 gigabyte size, while also preparing multiple strategies so that those who want more storage can add it. I'll go through the details in a moment. Back to the flash controller. 
On the other side, it connects to our main custom chip via four lanes of Gen 4 PCI. Hát én én nehez nem értek. Inside the main custom chip is a pretty hefty unit dedicated to I/O. Before we talk about what Aha. that does, let's talk compression for a moment. Beszéljünk egy kicsit. PlayStation 4 oh, uses Zlib as its compression format. We decided to use it again on PlayStation 5, but on my 2017 tour of developers, I learned about a new format called Kraken. So we get on this bundle és mindez egy grafika volt, fejeset. Mondjuk akkor elég gagyi a érsimítás. Kraken had only been out for a year, but it was already becoming a de facto industry standard. Half of the teams I talked to were using it, and we're getting ready to evaluate it. So we hustled and built a custom decompressor into the I.O. unit, one capable of handling over 5 gigabytes of Kraken format input data a second. After decompression, that typically becomes 8 or 9 gigabytes, but the unit itself is capable of outputting as much as 22 gigabytes a second, if the data happened to compress particularly well. By the way, in terms of performance, that custom decompressor equates to nine of our Zen 2 cores. That's what it would take to decompress the Kraken stream. Mm, not sure you was as a Kraken. There's a lot more in the custom I.O. unit, including a dedicated DMA controller. The game can direct exactly where yeah, the like Zen 2 like is. Like this is bigger, this equates better, and faster. This equates to another faster. Zen 2 core or two in terms of its copy performance. It's Konkrétan izgalmasabb a túl limitált húgyazása, a hólyagja. There's two dedicated I.O. coprocessors and a large RAM pool. These aren't Zen 2 cores, they are there principally to direct the variety of custom hardware uh -huh. around them. One of the coprocessors is dedicated to SSD I.O. This lets us bypass traditional I.O. and its bottlenecks when reading from the SSD. The other is responsible for memory mapping, which I know doesn't sound like anything related to the SSD. Addig 8, ne felejtsétek, este 8-kor late night talk, mert lehet kicsit később. Még nem tudom, hogy hol lesz a live. De lehet, hogy nem mozdulok innen. Coherency comes up a lot in places. Probably the biggest coherency issue is stale data in the GPU caches. Flushing all of the GPU caches whenever the most for kitten is a pukra a CPU by Peter GPU from a harm of a technology. We've implemented a gentler way of doing things where the coherence and 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 the best thing is as a game developer when you read from the SSD you don't need to know any of this. You don't even need to know that your data is compressed. You just indicate the data you want to read from the original and where you want to put it, and the whole process of loading it happens invisibly to you and at very high speed. Now, what does this mean? Back to the drivers. 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 Back to Having said that, expandability of our SSD is going to be quite important. Flash is costly, and you may very well want to add storage mm -hmm. to whatever we put in the console. Now, the kind of storage you need depends on how you're going to use it. If you have an extensive PlayStation 4 library and you'd like to take advantage of backwards compatibility to play those games on PlayStation 5, then a large external hard drive is ideal. You can leave your games on the hard drive and play them directly from there, thus saving the pricier SSD storage for your PlayStation 5 titles, or you can copy your active PlayStation 4 titles to the SSD. If your purpose in adding more storage is to play... We will be supporting certain M2 SSDs. These are internal drives that you can get on the open market and install in a bay in the PlayStation 5. As for which ones we support and when, I'll get to that in a moment. They connect through the custom I.O. unit, just like our SSD does. So they can take full advantage of the decompression, I.O. coprocessors, and all the other features I was talking about. Here's the catch, though. That commercial drive has to be at least as fast as ours. Monta. Games that rely on the speed of our SSD need to work flawlessly with any M2 drive. When I gave the Wired interview last year, I said that the PlayStation 5 SSD was faster than anything available on PC. 
at the time commercial gyorsabb lesz mint minden ami most jelenleg elérhető pc in other words no pcie 3.0 drive can hit the required spec M2 drives with PCI 4.0 are now out in the market. We're getting our in uh, sample and seeing four or five gigabytes a second from them. By year's end, I expect there will be drives that saturate 4.0 and support seven gigabytes a second. A trophy hunt, that, we must we are have to have a lot and oranges, though, because that commercial M2 drive will have its own architecture, its own flash. No, there's so an SSD on the gate, and the NVMe specification lays out a priority I mean, scheme for the quests that the M2 drives can use. Who's an E? And that scheme is pretty nice, but it only has two true priority levels. Our drive supports six. We can hook up a drive with only two priority levels, definitely, but our custom I.O. unit has to arbitrate the extra priorities rather than the M2 drive's flash controller. And so the M2 drive needs a little extra speed to take care of issues arising from the different approach. That commercial drive also needs to physically fit inside of the bay we created in PlayStation 5 for M2 drives. Unlike the SSD, unfortunately, no standard for the height of an M2 drive. And some M2 drives have giant. Hát azért azt nem gondoltam volna, hogy tökéletesen beleillik a PS5 Ezek a mérnökök, hogy nem lók ki az SSD a gépből. We'll also be doing some compatibility testing to make sure that the architecture of particular M2 drives is for the games to handle. Once we've done that compatibility testing, we should be able to start letting you know which drives will physically fit and which drive samples have benchmarked appropriately high in our testing. It would be great if that happened by launch, but it's likely to be a, a bit past it. So please hold off on getting that M2 drive until you hear from us. Okay, is, back me? to our principles. Balancing evolution and revolution. We need new GPU features and capabilities. If the megjelenés kor még nem lesz ez a rejtett dolog elérhető és legyünk majd türelemmel. Na jönnek a teraflopok az meg a másik kedvenc. We also need the ability to do something with the GPU that could not have been done before. And we need higher performance for what? Every time we double the performance of some GPU component, we don't want to find out we've doubled the power consumed and the heat produced. But at the same time, we have to make sure the GPU can run PS4 games, and we have to ensure that the architecture is easy for the developers to adopt. Now, it's not official, but that's the software compatibility fast. As a key need throughout the design process, now, as, as, as a solution here. to adding new features without blindsiding developers. We made sure that if there were new significant features, it would be optional to use them. The GPU supports ray tracing, but you don't have to use ray tracing to make your games. The GPU supports primitive shaders, but you can release your first game on the PlayStation 5. Your board up. Now, what's up your board Before I get into the capabilities of the GPU, I'd like to make clear two points. Nem vitte vissza felé a PS játékokat, csak úgy, hogy amiket remasterelték, hogy kiadtak újra PS négyre, de nem is remaster, de de, amit csak itt felhúztak. De a Bali 2 az olyan laggos volt a vidámparban, hogy nem hitte, de 14 FPS, PS négyen egy PS kettes játék. De most akkor úgy van, hogy PS4-en nekem hogy megvan a Bali 2, vagy 2? Milyen 2-vel beszélek? A Bali 1, azt beleteszem a, a PS5-be, ami az csak a PS4-re remékelt PS2-es játék. Nagyon jó. If we bring concepts to AMD that are felt to be widely useful, then they can be adopted into RDNA 2 and used broadly, including in PC GPUs. If the ideas are sufficiently specific to what we're trying to accomplish, like the GPU cache scrubbers I was talking about, then they end up being just for us. If you see a similar discrete GPU available as a PC card at roughly the same time as we release our console, that means our collaboration with AMD su succeeded uh, in producing technology useful in both worlds. It doesn't mean that we as Sony simply incorporated the PC part into our console. This continuous improvement in AMD technology means it's dangerous to rely on teraflops as an absolute indicator of performance, and CU count should be avoided as well. 
In the case of CPUs, we all understand this. The PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 each have CPUs. Ezért fog készni a létnáktól, akkor egy nyolcskor. It's the same for CUs. For one thing, they've been getting much larger. Na, jó volt, kihugyasztál minden, fully new features. Means adding lots of transistors. In fact, the transistor power for the PlayStation 5 is 62% larger than the transistor power for a PlayStation 4. Bobby Mindy streamer. 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 Bobby Mindy streamer.
I'm starting to get quite bullish. I've already seen a PlayStation 5 title that's successfully using ray tracing based reflections in complex animated scenes with only modest costs. Another set of issues for the GPU involved size and frequency. How big do we make the GPU and what frequency do we use? <sighs> this is a balance. The chip has a cost, and a cost of whatever we use to supply that chip with power and to cool it. In general, I like running the GPU at higher frequency. Let me show you why. No, that's my care. Like, me, I like it. No, you put that near. Roughly of the level of the PlayStation 4 Pro. This is a thought experiment. Don't take these configurations too seriously. Nem nehéz nekik sem csak dupla erőforrás, ezért csinálják. Csalják el és nincs igazi tükröződés. Eddig, mert most már lesz. Így van. Mert most már 4,6 tera flok. A GPU frekvencia az az óra jellemne. Processing the command buffer goes that much faster. The L2 and other caches have that much higher bandwidth, and so on. About the only downside is that system memory is 33% further away in terms of. Külön a ventilátor. Ez az utolsó külön a ventilátorokat és apu azokra is. As a friend of mine says, a rising tide. Jó van, de nem fejlesztők vagyunk. Also, it's easier to fully use 36 CPUs in parallel. Than it is to fully use 48 CUs. When triangles are small, it's much harder to fill all those CUs with mm -hmm. useful work. So there's a lot to be said for faster, assuming you can handle <laughs> the resulting <laughs> power and heat issues, which frankly we haven't yes, frankly. Nice job at. Part of the reason no. for that is, historically, our process for setting CPU and GPU frequencies has relied on some heavy duty guesswork with regards to how much electrical power games will consume and how much heat will be produced as a result inside of the console. Power consumption varies a lot from game to game. I know the power consumption is high just by the fan noise. But power isn't simply about engine quality. It's about the minutia of what's being displayed and how. It's counterintuitive, but processing which is like how it's studio or as it's classic or all of us with its low triangle count makes my ps4 pro heat up so much our process on previous consoles has been to try to guess what the maximum power consumption during the entire console which is to say the worst case scene in the worst case game and prepare a cooling solution that we think will be quiet at that power level Vagy ezek egy játékat lennének a logói? If we get it wrong, the console will be quite loud for the higher power games. Igen, ez, 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 ez jó, ha megcsinálják, mert nagyon hangosra fel tudott pörögni a ventilátorok, mikor belelegedett. These are great here and there, but presumably only minimally used. Or are they? If we plan for major 256-bit instruction usage, we need to set the CPU clock substantially lower or noticeably increase the size of the power supply and fan. So, after much discussion, we a very different direction on PlayStation 5. We built a GPU with 36 CUs. Mind you, RDNA 2 CUs are large. Each has 62% more transistors than the CUs we were using on PlayStation 4. So, if we compare transistor counts, 36 RDNA 2 CUs equates to roughly 58 PlayStation 4 CUs. It is a fairly sizable GPU. Then we went with a variable frequency strategy for PlayStation 5, which is to say we continuously run the GPU and CPU in boost mode. We supply a generous amount of less good and boost mode that increase the frequency of GPU and CPU until they reach. That's all. That's all. That's all. Even in fact, that's all. 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 Akkor pedig fel a ventilátor, nem boost módban. It becomes a simpler problem because there are no more unknowns. There's no need to guess what power consumption the worst case scenario might have. As for the details of the cooling solution, we're saving them for our teardown. I think you'll be quite happy with what the engineering. Yeah, G. Mondj valami mást. 
So how fast can we run the GPU and CPU with this strategy? No, hold on, hold on. The simplest hold on, hold on, hold on. would be to look at the actual temperature of the silicon die and throttle the frequency on that basis. But that won't work. It fails to create a consistent PlayStation 5 experience. It wouldn't do to run the console slower. So, so rather than look at the actual temperature of the silicon die, nem fogják megmutatni, hogy néz ki. Az ennyi lesz végig. Még bemutatják, milyen lesz az új hangzás, és mondják, köszönjük a figyelmet, majd nyáron betalálkozunk újra. Running a GPU at 2 gigahertz was looking like an unreachable target with the old fixed frequency strategy. With this new paradigm, we're, we're able to run way over that. In fact, we have to cap the GPU frequency mm. at 2.23 gigahertz so that we can guarantee that the on-chip logic operates properly. 36CUs at 2.23 gigahertz is 10.3 Not these against and and the the GPU GPU less than that. most of its time at or close to that frequency and performance. Similarly, running the CPU at 3 gigahertz was causing headaches with the old strategy. But now we can run it as high as 3.5 gigahertz. In fact, it spends most of its time at that frequency. That doesn't mean all games will be running at 2.23 gigahertz and 3.5 gigahertz. When that worst case game arrives, it will run at a lower To reduce power by 10%, it only takes a couple of reduction in frequency, so I'd expect any downclocking to be pretty minor. All things considered, the change to a variable frequency approach will show significant gains for PlayStation gamers. The final of our three principles was about finding new dreams. It's no. important for us on the hardware team to find new ways to expand or deepen no. games. No. And and that's what led us to a focus. As players, we experience the game through the visuals, through audio, and through the feedback we receive from the controller, such as rumble or haptics. Personally, I feel a game is just dead without audio. Oh yeah, you Visuals are, of course, important, yeah, but the mind. impact of audio is huge as well. At the same time, the audio team on a game project has to do a lot with a little. For example, on PlayStation 4, there's fierce competition for the Jaguar CPU cores. Audio typically ends up getting just a fraction of a core. That's not much of a computational resource, particularly when you consider that the visuals run at 30 or 60 frames a second, but audio processing needs to happen at almost 200 times a second. So it's been tough going making forward progress on audio with PlayStation 4, particularly when PlayStation 3 was such a beast when it came to audio. The SPUs in Cell were almost a perfect device for audio. Yeah, well, just think just that time we've gone better top of part to make all the little bits of the actual bits of the actual make the last half now. Very good. utilization. Very good. Let's hold that. There's unfortunately nothing comparable on PlayStation 4. No. Probably the most dramatic progress in the PlayStation 4 generation has been with virtual reality. The PSVR hardware has its own audio. No, it's the VR. It supports about 50 pretty decent 3D sound sources. And this provided a hint as to where we could go with audio, ha, as well as some audio. valuable experience. Not to oversimplify, but here were our Hope goals for audio on PlayStation 5. The first goal was great audio for Basta. everyone, not just VR users you, you audio owners and that headphone over. users. That meant audio had to be part of the console. It couldn't be a peripheral. The second goal was to support hundreds of sound sources. We didn't want developers to have to pick and choose what sounds would get 3D effects and which wouldn't. We wanted every sound in the game to have dimensionality. And finally, we wanted to really take on the Mind challenge of presence. Uh, and on this less. Now, when we, say on presence, in we mean the feeling that you're actually there. You've entered the matrix. Yeah, so it's not of course the we thought so 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 The idea yeah. is that if we stop using the sound and instead yeah, use lots of 3D audio sources for raindrops yeah. hitting the ground at yeah. all sorts of locations yeah. around you, in the so a fülle, your brain will take a leap and the game is filled with this feeling of real presence inside the virtual world of the game. This has the capacity to affect your appreciation of the game, just like music in a game does. The concept of locality is simpler. It's just your sense of where the audio is coming so from. So, fu, yeah, you audio, oh yeah, you audio, less sense. It's a couple, maybe it's a little bit of a kind 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 of
the game for. To use dead space as an example, I know, old school. You're fighting enemies in fairly dark, thing. spooky locations. Back in the day, if you played the game using the TV speakers, you could tell that there was one last enemy growling and hunting you down, but it was difficult to tell quite where that enemy was. With headphones, you could tell that the enemy was somewhere on the right, which let you deduce. Yeah, sure. The most my heart feel that they are on how you could mad on the side of the field. As yeah, make sure on that board. Good locality. The idea is, you know, the enemy is precisely. The field, which is still like your boy, form hard on it. Take it out. This is a dog from the field. I mean, cut cut to out the horse now. Well, all those bumps and folds in the ear have a meaning, evolutionarily speaking. Based on what direction the sound is coming from, sound waves bounce around inside the ear. There's some constructive and destructive interference, and the result is a change in volume. We died to the crusher piece. Depending on what path the sound wave took to reach the ear canal, these volume changes and phase shifts are different for each direction, and also vary depending on the frequency of the sound. Head size and head shape also impact the sound in a similar fashion. No, the a way that the sound that is changes based yeah. on direction and frequency can be encoded in a table called the Head Related Transfer Function, or HRTF. Here's part of one. And so, yeah, that's so the hard concrete and muscle. We forgot how many cells it's covered in them, and so could be at the top of a guy's bubble. And then we'll get the cell one. As we took it, the frequency HRTF is as unique to an individual as a fingerprint is. In fact, you're looking at mine right now. Here's how we measure NHRTF. Oh, so we've taken cool. hundreds of people through this process. We put a microphone in the subject's left and right ear canal, <laughs> and then the sit fire. the subject down in the middle of an array of 22 speakers. We then play an audio sweep from each speaker as we rotate the subject. In the course of 10 or 20 minutes, we're able to sample the HRTF at over 1,000 locations. Using an HRTF when rendering audio creates mm -hmm. unparalleled quality, but it's computationally expensive. The simplest way to use an HRTF is to process a sound source to make it appear as if it's coming from one of those thousand locations. As a simple bustle, basically, a sound source. Processing has to be done in frequency domain rather than time Oz, domain. So Oz, there's Oz. multiple fast Fourier transforms needed for every sound source for every audio tick. That's a lot of multiplies. This computational complexity was the determining factor for our strategy. It meant we had to bite the bullet and design and build a custom hardware unit for 3D audio. Collectively, we're referring to the hardware unit and the proprietary algorithms we run on it as Tempest 3D Audio Tech. Awesome. The meaning of 3D audio and technology should be pretty obvious here. As for Tempest, I feel it really reflects our goals with audio. It suggests a certain intensity of experience and also hints at your presence within it. We're calling the hardware unit that we built the Tempest engine. It's based on AMD's GPU technology. We modified a compute unit in such a way as to make it very close to the SPUs in PlayStation 3. Remember when I said that they were ideal for audio? So the Tempest engine has no caches, just like an SPU. All data access is via DMA. Ah, just that's talk like of your SPU. book. Our target was that it would have more power than a CPU, thanks to the parallelism that a GPU can achieve, and that it would be more efficient than our GPU, thanks to the SPU-like architecture. The goal being to make possible yes, more than 100% of the CPUs. Where we ended up is a unit with Man, roughly the same SIMD power as all eight Jaguar cores in the PlayStation 4. If we were to use the same algorithms as PSVR, that's enough for something like 5,000 sound sources. But of course, we want to use more sound sources, and we don't need anything like that. Yes, how do you do that? It's not a clinic, it's not a clinic. If a simpler strategy, such as Na most kell szurkolni, mert mindjárt véget érünk a hangrésznél, hogyha most itt abba hagyja, akkor vége. Vagy szerintem vége lesz. Ne, de hát ha bemutat valamit. Ennél Orbán hangtalan bejelentés, és többet mondott a fejét. In fact, with the Tempest engine, we even got enough power that we can allocate some to the games, to the extent that games want to make use of convolution reverb and other algorithms that are either computationally expensive or need high bandwidth. Mark but the course. primary purpose of the Tempest engine remains 3D audio. Now, 
3D audio is a major academic research topic. It's safe to say that no one in the world has all of the answers. And the set of algorithms that has to be invented, tuned, or implemented to realize our vision for 3D audio is immense. Audio for az example, az the az use of HRT that. apps in games is quite complex. Before, I talked about making a sound source appear as if it's coming uh, from one of those thousand HRTF sample locations. But for high quality 3D game audio, we have to handle other possibilities. The sound source might not be at one of the thousand HRTF sample locations, so we have to blend the HRTF data from the closest locations that we have sampled. The sound source might be moving, which needs so very uh, special so a hang, a hang would for that yet be in to me had so baba was so a hotel uress so baba less and of course your bump of the song goes in and then like a lapish and like a hang is meant to tell me as soon what as soon as you there's also whole categories of approaches to the concrete and lead as a hang a yate convention this summer you dick a follow up like a shadow board and in do well I'm a gift because it's all over Jesus Christ! Somewhat like the spherical harmonics used in computer graphics, and finally, there's audio devices. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I should have something with that. Headphones, no, or TV speakers, or have a higher-end surround sound mm. set up with six or more speakers, all of which need different approaches. That's Look, a lot of variations. It's nice to have the computational resources of the Tempest engine, but it's clear that achieving our ultimate goals with 3D audio is going to be a multi-year, step-by-step process. Having said that, headphone audio implementation is largely complete at this time. Uh, it was a natural place for us to start. With headphones, we control exactly what each ear hears, and therefore the algorithmic development and implementation are more straightforward. For TV speakers and stereo speakers, we're in the process of implementing virtual surround sound. The idea being that if you're sitting in a sweet spot in front of the TV, then the sound can be made to feel as if it's coming from any direction, even behind you. Hát, na, ez már tényleg nem a PlayStation dönti el, hogy a tévéből már úgy fogom hallani a hangot, mint hogyha, mint hogy, hogy a hall lenne, értitek? Ez szerintem, ezt nem hiszem el, hogy, hogy megcsinálja a PlayStation azt, hogy a tévéből úgy fog jönni a hang, hogy térhatásban. Headphone audio is the current gold standard for 3D audio on PlayStation 5, but we're going to see what we can do to bring virtual surround sound to the same level, after which we'll start in on needs. setups with more speakers, such as six-channel surround sound. It's now to the point where some of the PlayStation 5 games in development are extensively using these systems. One of the game demos allows you to toggle between conventional PlayStation 4-style stereo audio and our new 3D audio. I listened with just an ordinary pair of over-the-ear headphones, and wow, I could feel a difference. 3D audio has that dimensional feel to it. Conventional stereo audio feels <laughs> smashed flat by comparison. The improvement is obvious. So, a big advancement, but have I entered the matrix? Does my brain believe I'm really there? Like I was talking about earlier when I explained our target of presence. Well, the answer is no. But you probably can't. Why are you not letting me talk? Because I don't have to hear me. What do you want? A virus? No. The audio team analyzed the hundreds that they measured and chose the ones that were the most effective. This shows a piece of the default HRTF on the left and my HRTF on the right. You can see that the general features are much the same, but the details are quite different. With the default HRTF, as I said, the 3D audio sounds pretty great. When I use my HRTF, though, the audio reaches a, a higher level of realism, which is to say that when using headphones and my so as mindenkinél másmilyen lesz a hang, jól értem. Szerintem a csávó Twitter-e már is el van mélyemekkel. Szóval lehet, hogy mindenki máshogy fogja hallani. Ez egy koronavírusos animáció, ezt már láttam that they can toggle between PS4 style and PS5 style audio and not sense so the mic. So, mindenki más, hogy fogja hallani a hangokat, a ez jó. The PlayStation 5's 3D audio is sounding like a bit better stereo audio. Presumably, they're the ones at the very edges of this diagram. Which means, what HRTF you're using is key. I'd like everyone to be able to experience what I'm experiencing, but obviously it's not possible to measure the Hello, HRTF Edu. of every PlayStation user. That means HRTF selection and synthesis are going to be big topics going forward as the Tempest technology matures. 
at PlayStation 5 launch, we'll be offering a choice of five HRTFs. There's a, a simple test where you pick the one that gives you the best locality. That's just the first step, though. This is an open-ended. So, when you click on the PS, you'll be sending us a photo of your ear, and we'll choose a neural network to pick the closest HRTF in our library. Maybe we'll be sending us a video of your ears and your head, and we'll make a 3D model of them and synthesize the HRTF. So, if I send a photo of my ear, and I send a video of my head, and I send a video of my head, and I send a video of my head, and I send a video of my head. This is a, a journey we'll all be taking together over the next few years. Ultimately, we're committing to enabling everyone to experience that next. Ooh, ooh, it's a great video clip, but I'm like. Hopefully, I've been able to illustrate a bit about our design and decision-making process today, and why PlayStation Five has the feature set that it does. Now comes the fun part. We get to see how the development community takes advantage of that feature set. That's what I thought. I'm hoping for the completely unexpected. Will it come from audio, ray tracing, the capabilities of the SSD, or something else? I guess we'll find out soon enough. I need. Thank you for your time today. We have Tom Short. I got the VIC. Na, hát akkor... <gül> akkor... Nézzük meg, mit tudunk. Várjál, mi van, ha erre átváltok? Virzsi! Elkaplak, azt mondja a Grex. Hát gyerekek, annyit tudtunk meg, hogy... Új, itt furcsa lesz létnáltalak menezni, nem? Hát ez egy kemény egy óra volt az én életemben is, de legalább már fix, hogy lesz fix a felé kompatibilitás, jó lesz a hang. A proci is, a töltési idő rövidülnek, legalább ezek most már fixek, ezek tudjuk, hogy így lesznek, és ezek tök jók. Amúgy. Én szerintem ez, én a kifejezetten a töltési idő lerövidítésének ödülök a legjobban. Köszönjük, hogy itt voltatok. Nyolckor a Youtube-on Late Night Talk, mennyi elég? Gyertek oda, uh, hozza lápát, öreg leót, és jó lesz létnáktól. Mert hát uh, lehet, hogy akkor így csinálom. Egyszerű, mert most sok videót akarok mutogatni, azt meg tudjuk, hogy a laptop már nem bírná el. Vigyázzatok addig is maratokra, mossatok kezet, találkozunk este. Sziasztok!